Yeah, let's Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, yeah she chaired on uh, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The chair, uh, Ms. by direction of the Permanent Credentials Committee, I report as follows. The Permanent Credentials Committee reports as of 10 a.m. today, the total registration for the convention is 5,880 delegates and 1,434 alternate delegates. A majority of delegates is 2,941. The actual voting strength of the convention is 8,996. A majority of the voting strength is 4,499. By direction of the Permanent Credentials Committee, I move the temporary role be adopted as a permanent role of the convention. Thank you, Chairman. A motion is before this body to adopt the report of the Permanent Credentials Committee. Would anybody like to be heard on this issue, speaking in either favor or in opposition to it? There is a uh, light over here, a blue for a motion. The chair recognizes um, the delegate at that station. If you'll please identify yourself by name and senatorial district. What time does this break for lunch? At 12? It's supposed to. I think they're having trouble with the mic. Can somebody put the mic on at the uh, light where the delegate is supposed to be heard? Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is John Cologne. I'm from Senate District 1. I make a motion to amend the Permanent Credentials Committee's report to allow the delegates from the unseated Upshur Convention to be added as alternates to the seated Upshur delegates. I don't, know, I don't know why, but they held two different conventions, and so they produced two different lists of delegates. The parliamentary informs us that that motion is out of order because the election code governs how alternates and delegates are to be selected, and that is not the appropriate way to do it. Seeing no further debate, we will conclude the question. All those in favor of adopting the Permanent Credentials Committee report, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, no. Ayes have it. At this time, the chair will recognize Mr. Bill Crocker. Chairman of the Permanent Rules Committee for the purpose of making a partial report on the agenda and supplemental rules. Uh, and I would just like to take a moment of personal privilege because I know that this is Mr. Crocker's last term. I've had a chance to, as RNC, and I've had a chance to serve with him for two years, and I will tell you uh, that he could have had a finer representative on the RNC than Bill Crocker. Don't get off that easy. I also want to tell you that he led the fight to try to prevent Nevada and New Hampshire and Iowa and South Carolina to permanently come before Texas. It was like the Alamo. We didn't win that battle, but maybe we'll win the war if we appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Permanent Rules Committee gives its partial report as follows. By direction of the Permanent Rules Committee, I move the adoption of the 2012 Texas GOP Convention Program Agenda, the second general session, third general session, and final general session as the order of business for the convention with the addition of a recess at 5 p.m. during the third general session if the platform has not been completed at that time. Reconvene at 9 p.m. that same day. I also move the adoption of the temporary supplemental rules as amended by the Permanent Rules Committee as the permanent supplemental rules of the convention. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Would anybody want to be heard on the issue? There's a motion to adopt the report of the Rules Committee on the floor. Does any delegate wish to be heard? There is a uh, light with a blue on uh, the left side. If uh, you'll turn the mic on, and if that delegate will identify his name and send for the report. John Cologne, Senate District 1. My motion is.
is to strike se Rule 38, Section 10, A and B, you have your, and to you have amend come on. Wait, what, what, or change your rules book? C, to state all delegates and alternates okay. may choose, okay. may vote as they choose on all questions and candidates presented at the National Convention. That motion we have doesn't pertain to the report on the floor, that pertains to permanent rules, these are temporary rules, parliamentary informs us, therefore it's not germane and it's out of order. Is any other delegate wish to be heard? Is any other delegate wish to be heard? If not, we'll vote on the report from Mr. Stockton, the rules committee. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Eyes out. At this time, the chair will recognize the chairman of the permanent organization. First of all, I would like to thank my committee for their diligent work and for their timeliness in showing up for our meeting at this kind of odd hour. Thank you, committee. And I'd like to make this report from the Permanent Organization Committee. This is outlined in Part Rule 34. Rule 11 tells us the position we need to recommend are Chairman, Secretary, and Sergeant at Arms. And for those positions, we recommend for Chairman, Steve Ministeri, for Secretary, Mandy Shopping, and for Sergeant at Arms, David Thomas. Mr. Chairman, thank you for this motion. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. There's a motion before the body to accept the uh, report of the Permanent Organizational Committee. Does any delegate wish to be heard to speak in either favor or in opposition to the report? If so, go to one of the stations with the lights and we'll be recognized. Seeing none, we will now move to question. All those in favor of adopting the report of the Permanent Organizational Committee, please signify by saying aye. 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 Is anybody opposed? The report is accepted. Thank you, Matt. At this time, the chair will recognize Mr. Eric O'Bealan, chairman of the State Nominations Committee, for the purpose of making the report. Mr. Chairman, the Permanent State Nominations Committee comprised the members who were elected at their respective Senate district offices met earlier today and received your recommendations for State Chairman and State Vice Chairman. At the direction of the State Nominations Committee, I nominate for the position of State Chairman Steve Ministeri. Would any delegates like to be heard in favor or in opposition to this motion? If so, go to one of the light stations and you'll be recognized. Except for their nominations. That was like a little easier than last time. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye! aye. All those opposed. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have that one no, it would have been unanimous. But that's okay, we're a democracy. Thank you all very much. Um, I'll do my best to next to you. Vice Chairman of the Party, Linda Fredericks, 
Would anybody wish to be heard on this issue? If so, uh, please proceed to one of these uh, four the rights. The vice chair must be a woman. Seeing none, we will take the vote. All those in favor of Melinda Fredericks being vice chairwoman of the Republican Party of Texas, please signify by saying aye. Aye! aye. All those opposed? No. <laughs> I have a little bragging rights on um, Melinda because I think only one person voted against me. But I, think, I think two people voted against me. <laughs> Richard Hayes actually informs me it's a tie. He thinks her husband voted against her. So, <laughs> to get her back a little more, so he thinks it's actually uh, even. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. At the direction of the Senatorial District Caucuses this morning, elections were conducted in each caucus for a man and woman to represent each Senatorial District on the State Republican Executive Committee. The committee is pleased to report these selections to the convention. Representing Senate District 1, Stephen Lee and Sue Evanwell. Representing Senate District 2, Nathan Durr and Mickey Slayton. <laughs> Representing Senate District 3, Jim Wiggins and Judy Pareda. <laughs> Judy got up there. <laughs> Congratulations for Judy. Representing Senate District 4, Michael Trocoli and Rosemary Rowe. Uh, she's, the, uh, she's the spouse of someone I know from my home county. She's a spouse of someone I know from my home county. Senate I'm from five, over there. Russell Martinez and Megan here? Higginbotham. I'm from Southeast Texas originally. Representing Senate District 6, Rex Cedar and Glenda Bowl. Bill Eastman got nine. Representing Senate District 7, Mark Ramsey and Valerie Swanson. Representing Senate District 8, Neil Katz and Candy Noble. I'm about to change that. Oops. Representing Senate District 9, Bill Eastland and Sarah Legbold. Bill Eastland's a freak, man. Representing Senate District 10, Jim Borchard and Leslie Wissini. <laughs> Representing Senate District 11, Dennis Paul and Cheryl Burr. <laughs> Representing Senate District 12, Tom Washington and Gene McIver. <laughs> Representing Senate District 13, Rex Lamb and Bonnie Lugo. Representing Senate District 14, Randy Samuelson and Davida Syke. <laughs> Representing Senate District 15, Virgil Cruz and Monty Watkins. <laughs> Representing Senate District 16, Randy Dutton and Paige McAleer. <laughs> Representing Senate District 17, Marvin Cleed and Tina Gibson. <laughs> Representing Senate District 18, Ben Zeller and Becky Berger. <laughs> Representing Senate District 19, James Barnes and Gayla Miller. Representing Senate District 20, Bob Jones and Angie Flores. <laughs> Representing Senate District 21, Eric Opiella and Naomi Narvaez. <laughs> Representing Senate District 22, Frank C. and Janet Jackson. <laughs> 
Chairman, my name is James Brown, uh, from Senate District 30, yes, thank you. Thank you. Are you going to sing for us? <laughs> Maybe a little dance, too. I stand before you a proud Texas Republican, and I look forward to sending these uh, committee men and women to influence our fellow Republicans at the National Convention. Um, there are a few things that I would like them to take with them from our... You, you're recognized for the purpose of a point of order. I platform, I'm sorry. I, I don't hear a point of order. Point of order I'm has right. to be a procedural problem with Robert's rules oh. that interrupts the motion. I'm terribly sorry. Do you have a point of order, sir? I do not. All right. Do you have a motion? Do you want to speak in favor or in opposition to the motion? The chair's going to help you out here. You can either do a point of order, or interrupt, or I'll, I'll be sure, where, you, where you can speak either in favor or in opposition to the motion on the floor. If that's not one of your purposes, then... Um, then I would say point of information, sir, um, to stand in... Um, a point of information is requesting information from the chair, usually relative to the motion or the ruling. Are you seeking the information from the chair to answer a question about the motion? Those are the only three purposes for which you can be recognized. Oh, I'm sorry. Then, no, sir. But I do stand in support well, of them. If so. you're, all right. <laughs> It, 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 it's okay. You know, we're here to do something. So right. He's mistaken. I suggest way. everybody read Robert's rules sometime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the motion? Yes. All those in favor of adopting the committee's report yes. relative to the SREC recommendations, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, signify by saying nay. The ayes have it. Congratulations, new members of the State Republican Executive.
moves the reports of permanent state nominations to me. Thank you, Mr. That concludes all our official business. I do have a couple of announcements. Some people that are members of grassroots clubs say they don't have their green wristband to go to the function tomorrow. If you stop by the grassroots club, they can look up your name. Uh, they can give you a wristband, hopefully, or find a member of my staff. The other announcement I would like to make is for any caucus district chairs that are not senatorial district chairs. If you'll meet with us in 115 and room 104, we'd like to talk to you about some, how some of the ways we've been mitigating some of the noise problems and to help with that situation, we'd like for you to attend. Other than that, this convention stands in recess until 2 p.m. Thank you.